Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and go into our inventory and start building our slots right here. And if you pick up item, it will show up in the, uh, in the slot. So, yeah, let's just hop into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to blueprints, components, and inventory component. And we're going to go into here and we're going to add a variable called tools inventory size we're gonna make this an integer and we're gonna make this by default uh 25 compile and save and let's get rid of these print strings right here let's get rid of that And then we'll go into our blueprints widgets inventory and we're gonna make a user interface widget blueprint we're gonna call this inventory grid underscore w open this guy i'm gonna make a canvas panel add this here and we're gonna get a grid we're gonna get a uniform grid panel and we're going to anchor this to the center alignment 0 0.5 0 0.5 and let me check what i made this size real quick i made it 600 by 700 so 600 by 700 like that and I'm gonna rename this to inventory grid panel and I'm gonna wrap this guy with a scroll box and then on the scroll box also on the grid panel real quick let's go to make that is a variable and on the scroll box I'm gonna give this um where is Oh, not on the scroll box. On the on the grid panel, we're going to set this to fill. And on the padding, I'm just going to type in 5 right here. Slot padding. Also, on the minimum desired width, I'll do 50. On the height, we'll do 50 as well. And then we're going to open the slot padding here. And let me just check what I made. This one. Negative 475 by negative 500. So... On the top, we do negative 475, bottom negative 500. And then we're going to go into our inventory widget. We're going to find our inventory grid underscore W. And we're going to. Can we wrap this with a widget switcher? We can. We're going to wrap this guy with a widget switcher. And we're going to size the content, anchor this to the left, alignment 0 0.5, uh, 0.5, and we're going to position a 0, position X will be 400, position Y will be right in here somewhere, so let's say 110, and then... We're going to go to the, here, let's rename this widget switcher to inventory types widget switcher. We're going to go to the graph and we're going to get rid of the tick and the pre-construct. And then right here, we're going to cast to a third person, cast the BP third person character. We're going to get player character and promote this guy to a variable called player ref and then in here we're going to make a variable called row it's going to be an integer we're going to make a variable called column also an integer then we're going to make another variable called row 
size. And on row, let me check what I made these. We're gonna make these row zero, zero, and this one five. Okay. So, let me go back. So, row, row, row and column will be zero, row size will be five. So down here, we're gonna make a custom event. We're gonna call this build uh, tools inventory. And also, before we do this, I just remembered on our in inventory icon on our text right here. I think we changed our visibility of this. Oh, we didn't. Okay, cool. So, never mind. We don't need to do that. That's fine. So, the first thing we're going to do in here, and let me just check this guy. We're going to set our row and column to zero. So, grab your row. We're going to set that to zero. Column. We're going to set that to zero. And we want to do a for loop. Just a for loop. And check. We're gonna get our inventory tool or tools inventory size. So grab your player ref. We're gonna get our inventory CP. And we're gonna get our tools inventory size. And we're gonna subtract right here. We're gonna subtract one and we're gonna add this to the last index so you want to subtract one from this because if you don't it'll give you 26 inventory slots instead of 25 so just subtract one right here and then what we want to do is we want to create widget so right here we're gonna create widgets and the widget we're gonna create is our inventory um icon widget and then we want to get our item info from this so item info we're gonna set item info like that and we want to get our tools inventory we're gonna get a copy of that so get your player ref Get your inventory. We're gonna get our tools inventory. And we're gonna pull off of here. We're gonna get a copy. And we're gonna plug this into the item info. And then in the index right here, we're gonna grab the index from the for loop. And then what we wanna do. So we want to get uh we want to add child to uniform grid. So we're gonna grab our inventory grid right here. We're gonna get our grid, get inventory grid panel. And we're going to add child to uniform grid. Plug this guy in. And what we're going to add to the content is going to be our widget that we're creating right here. And in the row and column is going to be our variable row and variable column. And then what we want to do is grab column, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, column. And then we're going to increment this. So increment int. And plug this guy in so basically what this does is every time it runs through it'll just increment this size so it'll get past here and then increase it by one every time and then what we want to do is we are going to um, pull off of 
this guy right here. We're gonna get item info. And we can split this. We're gonna see if uh, current stack is greater than zero. We're gonna grab a branch. And if it is, we want to grab our item quant item quantity text. And if it is greater than zero, we want to set visibility to visible. And if it's false, we want to set the visibility to hidden. And we're doing this so that, like, you know, if you don't have anything, like, in the grid, or in your, in, in that slot, it won't show the item quantity text. And you want to plug this guy into here as well. And let's just check. Item info, delete that. And next thing we're going to do is... Let me check. This is coming from there. We're going to see if our column. I'm going to pull off this guy. We're going to see if it's greater than or equal to our row size. So row size right here. And add a branch. And we're going to plug both of these into this branch right here. And if our column is greater than or equal to our row size, we're going to set our column to zero and increment our row. So set column to zero and then get row and increment int. So that should work. Let's just go to here. I'm going to right here. I'm going to collapse this guy to a function called initialize. And then we're going to right click and we're going to grab our build tools inventory. And let's just check that real quick. Inventory and you see we have our our inventory with a bunch of Bunch of slots and if we pick stuff up You see we have we have this stuff in it and That's pretty much it, but just to kind of show you something you can go into your components inventory and This tools inventory size you can just increase this to whatever you want if I make it 75 and press P inventory um it's bigger but we have a we have an issue here we don't have any padding on the top and bottom now for some reason so yeah you may want to play with the padding numbers if you increase it uh, what if we do this Wrong one. It's supposed to be over here. Inventory grid. Over here. Let's see. Yeah, we still get some bad things with the padding. Hmm. Let me increase, put this back down to 25. I don't know why that would change the padding, but... Let's see. On 25, it's fine, but if we increase it...
Yeah, you may just want to play with these numbers if you uh, increase your size. So, let's make this guy 45 real quick and see what happens. Is the same thing. So let's see. Let me put this back to 50 and 50. And top two, or bottom two, negative four, 20, or 725, sure. Let's just see what happens. And Tori. Hmm. Hmm. Bottom negative two thousand. See what happens. Still getting the same thing. Up. Negative two, negative three hundred. Let's try that. Okay, let's change some things. Move that guy back to what it was and decrease this number to two hundred. Yeah, so yeah, you'll just want to play with those numbers if you increase your size. Negative... Negative 400. It's a little better. Negative 450. not too bad now let's see what happens if we increase the size back down to 25 okay yeah that seems like a better number so we should be able to increase this number up to 75 see what happens Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we got a good number right there where you can increase it to kind of whatever you want and the padding will stay fine. So, yeah. Um, so, on the bottom padding, I just made it 450 instead of 475 or 500 or whatever it was a minute ago. Yeah, 450 seems to do good and now you can just kind of come in here and let's see what it does on 120. Yeah. Yep. Now we can just make this as big as you want. And it works fine. So I'm just going to go back and decrease this for now back to 25. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, kind of it. So, pick up some items. So, we, ha we do have a million of these, so we're going to have to do this function a bunch of times. So, in the next part, that's what we'll do. We'll go through and start working on uh, our widget switcher and switching between the different inventories and building the other inventories and all that jazz. So, yep. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.